Aging in place, what does that really mean? It means that you will be remaining in your home for the later years of your life and not moving into a smaller home, assisted living, or a retirement community. Now, there's no doubt about it. There's a comfort in staying in the home you've lived in for many years instead of moving to a totally new or unfamiliar environment. However, this may not be the best option for everyone. The potential financial drawbacks to remodeling or renovating might actually be more costly than the long-term benefits. If you're in this spot 40 years ago, you may have had a growing family, and for that reason, you probably purchased a four-bedroom home on a large piece of property in a child-friendly neighborhood. It was a great choice at the time, and you will still love that home. But today, your family has grown and moved out, so you don't need all that space. You might be thinking about taking some equity out of your house and converting one of the bedrooms into a massive master bedroom, and maybe another room into an open space reading room or a craft room. You might also be thinking about cutting back on lawn maintenance. It all sounds wonderful, doesn't it? For the short term, you may really enjoy the new upgrades, but you'll still have to climb those stairs, pay to heat and cool the house that's larger than you need, and continue fixing all the things that start to go wrong with a 40-year-old home. Renovations are just part of what you need to make aging in place work for you. While it's typically less expensive to remain in your home than to pay for assisted living, that doesn't mean it's slam dunk to stay there. You still have a long to-do list. You need to plan ahead for how you will manage maintenance and care for your home and for yourself. So at some point, the time may come when you decide to sell this house anyway. That can pose a big challenge if you're already taking cash value out of your home and used it to do the type of remodeling we mentioned above. Realistically, you may have lowered the value of your home by doing things like reducing the number of bedrooms. The family moving into your neighborhood is probably similar to what your family was 40 years ago. They probably have young children and need the extra bedrooms. Bottom line, before you spend the money to remodel or renovate your current house so you can age in place, let's get together to determine if it is truly your best option. Making a move to a smaller home in the neighborhood might make more sense. If you have any questions about selling your home or trading up to a new home, feel free to give us a call anytime at 602-920-0306. We can help you make the right decision for whatever you decide to do. We appreciate you for your friendship, referrals, and for trusting us with all your real estate needs. Take care and make it a great day.